developed my confidence being here and I liked helping people and um, I liked talking to people and um, it's helped me become the person I am. What made me interested in tech start was it was it was a great opportunity to take part in something that I had a passion for and that I'd be working with others that had a passion doing the same thing that I do. I, um, I found out about Tech Start from my local Job Centre Plus. I was visiting my advisor and she showed me a advert for the position of um, volunteers at Tech Start. So I had a chat about it. I found out the general sort of information about it and then um, got an interview and here I am now. You know, I've generally used uh, Windows myself but I've learned a few Linux skills. I've also learned how to write um, some policies which are implemented by Windows to enhance what the user can see, what the user can control. Uh, I haven't looked inside a, a, a PC for close on 20 odd years. Uh, within the second week I'd taken two defunct machines and built a functional machine we could sell. And the feeling of, of achieving that was unbelievable, it was undescribable, being able to do something like that. Well, Techstart, I guess, started uh, right at the start of 2013. Um, we were thinking about a project where um, schools were refurbishing their own equipment, could perhaps make them available to families where there was no PC in the home. Um, so we were sort of discussing that with a couple of schools, and at the same time, Matt Smith, uh, who's one of our directors and uh, works for First Wessex uh, Housing Association, he came across Guildford Job Club, uh, who were doing a project or managing a project in, in Guildford where um, refurbished computers uh, donated by companies were being made available low price to, um, to local people. So we've been involved in Techstart from the very beginning um, for two, two important reasons. Firstly it supports our digital inclusion strategy um, and secondly it strengthens and supports our employment and training programme. Um, we want as many of our residents to be online as possible so that they can communicate with us as a landlord in the most effective and efficient way, whether that's to pay their rent, report antisocial behaviour, report a repair, or just to find out what's happening in their local community. And secondly, we want them to benefit from all the things that you and I benefit from. So it's a lot easier to apply and find for work online. Uh, you can save money through all the internet deals. It can enhance your social life, and it's a great opportunity to develop new skills and hobbies. Uh, the college is absolutely delighted to, to, to support Techstart in this way. We've donated 100 PCs. Uh, ordinarily, we'd seek to sell these off. They're surplus to requirements. We've used them in college now. But what a much better use of these computers, this equipment, what a brilliant opportunity for us to contribute to bridging the digital divide. Fantastic for the community, great endeavour. We'll continue to support it this year, next year and for many years to come. Fantastic. We hope it goes from strength to strength. In fact, I'm sure it will go from strength to strength. Uh, during the year, I guess we started talking with Rushmore Borough Council and with uh, Job Centre Plus and various strands sort of seemed to fit together um, for the whole Techstart project. We also had really close links with Community Matters Partnership in Farnborough. Now they are a company that uh, harnesses corporate social responsibility. So we knew that we had a, a good stock of computers from uh, Farnborough College of Technology, Sixth Form College in Farnborough and CSC. Uh, we had several hundred computers to, to start off with. So, so we're delighted, at, you know, at CSC at the corporation to support this this uh, this startup enterprise. We hope it's a great success. And what we want to do is encourage everyone to donate computers from businesses, schools, and and the general public because they need a constant flow of computers in order for this to be successful. And at TechStart, we're aiming to be a one-stop shop to help bridge the digital divide. There are a great number of people out there that simply don't have access to a computer or the internet to do a lot of the basic stuff that we take for granted. Uh, firstly, we're providing a free internet access solution for our members to come along and apply for jobs or school placements, 
uh, access universal jobs match, access uh, utility uh, saving solutions. Well, I was a bit nervous about coming in, Mark, because I'd never dealt with computers or hadn't used them very much. Um, so I was a little bit nervous about coming in, I must admit, but it's brilliant in here and I'm finding my confidence now and I'm starting to find my way around the internet. So um, I'm really happy about coming here and I've had lots of support from you all. And we're also providing a, uh, a low-cost repair solution. Because there are several people out there that have old machines, want to be able to use them, but can't afford to go and get them fixed. So for £35 plus the cost of any parts, they can bring their old machine in and we'll bring it back to life. We're also providing, um, through our computer refurbishment scheme, which is kindly supported by several local businesses, um, affordable computers. So that people can come in and buy a computer uh, from us where they, they might not necessarily be able to go to some of the more expensive competition. Um, so these people don't have, you know, three, four hundred pounds to go and buy a machine. So they can come to us, they can get something which will do the job for them, and they won't have to spend a fortune. But we're also providing uh, volunteer opportunities and work experience placements to give unemployed people with enthusiasm and an aptitude for technology somewhere to go to sort of flex their work muscles, get relevant work experience, and hopefully develop some skills in the process. Um, so my job here is as the Training and Development Manager and what that really means is that I'm helping our volunteers, so I'm supporting them and making sure they're getting the most from their experience here. So I'm doing that by offering to look at their CVs, um, helping them with any job applications they have and also making sure that they're getting meaningful experience from their time here. And in the long term what we want to do is maybe link that up with some local businesses so that if a company is looking for some IT staff or ministry staff, rather than advertise, they might perhaps come here and look at our volunteers first to see if they've got the right skills. I work on developing collaborative partnerships and I'm really pleased to be working alongside Techstart to develop work experience placements. A work experience placement is really valuable to a job seeker because it allows them to develop new skills and to refresh skills that might have lain dormant for a while. It also allows people to gain a reference so that they can take that to an employer to show that they've gained the soft skills that employers are looking for. That's things like the demonstrating the right attitude, being flexible and adapting to different environments. I've been previously employed by the likes of uh, Hewlett Packard, General Electric um, and the like working in IT. I've been in IT since I was about 16 but then so in 2008 I found myself unemployed and after f five years it was getting very difficult to find a job. Uh, so. Um, I was being told repeatedly that I had no relevant commercial experience or recent commercial experience and then uh, th this position came up when I decided to have a look at volunteering. I, I started with Tech Start uh, at the very, very beginning of the, when the, the shop was taken over and then using the skills that I've learnt over the last 20 or 30 years I've managed to help build up a complete network using the equipment that uh, has been donated. I've, I found it absolutely fantastic, I love it. There are many good examples of partnership projects across Rushmore, but few can claim to be as innovative as Techstart. This not-for-profit social enterprise really shows how powerful collaborative working can be. The private, public and voluntary sectors have worked together to create and support this exciting project and we're all immensely proud of what is being achieved. As Techstart grows, we will be looking for more partners. And if you'd like to help, perhaps by donating a desktop PC or PCs or laptops, then we'd be very pleased to hear from you.